All right, what is up guys? Snack God here, back for another video. And this time we're going to Costco. Back at it again, because we sell everything so quick this time. We're gonna get more. And we are very close to getting 4,000 watch hours and we just hit 1,000 subscribers. So YouTube can almost start giving me monetization and I can start making money. So let's come on and see what we're gonna get. All right, let's follow along. Come on, let's do this. Oh boy, let's go on our adventure. We're gonna spend a little bit over 300. Last time we spent 200 and under that. So we're gonna get more this time because I figure out that with my employees helping me sell, we're gonna sell it very soon. Only took me a week and a half. So with that said, we're gonna get one of these Sour Patch. All right. And we're gonna go walk and we're gonna find some more stuff. We're gonna get one of these Lifesavers. And we gotta keep in mind how much everything costs because I wanna make sure we don't go over and we don't go too low too. All right, so um, I think I'm gonna have to double up on the trolley because they've been going too quick, so let's find a good box. I Normally, I only buy one box, but this time we're gonna get two. I bring four of these a day and they all go super quick. And now, here we have something a little special for you guys. This item is on sale, $1.20 off. It's not much sale, but if you think about it, each one gets reduced because there's 24 inside. So when you do have a sale, you make more profit per one you sell. All right, so since we do plan to spend a little bit more, I'm gonna get two flavors of Skittles. Now I'll tell you which ones sell the best. For me, we're gonna get the original one. Here. And we're gonna get the Skittles, the sour one. Because people have been asking me this week, how come you don't sell the sour one? So I and coming into the chocolate section, we just finished the candies, so now we're gonna go to the chocolate. Something people like to eat in the cold day, maybe like a cold weather, they wanna eat some chocolate. Let's see what we got. We're gonna go with the usual. One box of Twix. This thing, so we're gonna get that. And but don't forget, just because I get one of those boxes does not mean I get other chocolate too. There's gonna be other stuff added to help me sell out in the last two weeks. Here, gotta get the variety pack. This one has a lot of stuff inside. As you can see here, we have MMs and a lot of things like Milky Way and Snickers, and the Twix come with it too. So, if you don't have enough of that, get one of these. Now for my last item, I get the cookie and cream one. I do think this one sells better than the normal one because when it comes to the normal one, people are only getting the one flavor, but some people like the cookie and cream because it kind of tastes like the Oreos. So that's a very popular choice. Okay. Very excited because I didn't see this the first time I come around, but this one is on sale. $3.50 off. So if this one costs $514 per bar and I sell it for a dollar, I almost making exactly double. This is big brain time. And you can see here, this one's I'm gonna get a better one. These ones are all neatly wrapped, so you can't worry about anyone stealing already and no damages in the chocolate. And since it's coming to winter time almost, it's gonna be cold and not gonna melt in your locker. This section has beef jerky and gum and some other things. So I'm gonna check out what flavors I think are gonna do well. Last time I bought the mint and gum, it did pretty well, but I think I'm about gonna buy two flavors this time. All right, so right over here, I suggest you buy me this brand called Tried It. This one is the most bang for your buck because they usually always have a sale and they give you 15 pieces for usually only $9. So let's look at how we need it. The first one we're gonna get, it's gonna, we're gonna try out this one because this one having the peppermint is on sale. We can more likely to make more money and we're gonna try out one of these ones too with a tropical twist. Looks like it has the orange and mango inside. So people probably like it. All right, so finally guys, we're back and we found it. Last two times I came here, I could not find this thing. They were rearranged everything and I was struggling to find this item because everyone's been asking me and I just tell them that I don't see it at Costco. But today, we found it and we can bring it back. So this one cost me $20 and there's 120 in here. So think about how much you can make. I sell each one for a quarter. So that's $30, I can make an extra $10. And this thing, every day I can bring a bunch because it's so tiny. I grab a whole bag and I stick it in my backpack. This is my favorite part of the Costco. This is where we spend most of our money on the restock every time. We buy six to eight boxes of chips. So let's go get going and see what we can get. Again, this one do very well. 
Okay, so yesterday I checked online for you guys and I showed you that when you buy online, these cost more. So I suggest you go to the store and buy them. Online, they cost $14 and here it's only $12. So let's get a couple of these. Two boxes, okay? I have learned my lesson that now with my employees and I can bring two extra bags, they will go even faster. I can bring up to 50 bags of chips to school every day. We move on to this bowl next. The reason why this bowl mix is so good is because the most bags they have is the hot Cheeto flavor, the spicy one. When you have the spicy one, everybody likes it. It's the very basic. They People don't really like this one too much, but these three right here, they're the best and they have the most amount in the bag. So this one has 16 and this one has 14. So we're going to get two of these boxes. Alright, and I think we're going to get one more spicy one right here because this is because this one does bad, does really good. <laughs> oh, that's hot. That's hot. And I can sell it for 75 cents. Now, to finish up, we're gonna get this and then some Takis after, you guys can see. I don't have to talk about it anymore. I show you guys this in every video. So it's getting pretty boring, but you guys understand that this one is making good money. So you guys should get this one. Last time I bought a popcorn, it did really well too. So let's see if we can find some popcorn. It actually tastes good too. Let's try it. Ready? So last time, um, I want to show you guys something very important when you're buying stuff. You want to look out for prices that have very good small number but come with a lot. So it's called buying in bulk. And we did this last week. I tried out one box and my customers keep asking me to bring it back. So we're going to bring it back this time. I think we should go with... Uh, let's get... Should we get one or two? What do you think? Two. Two. I like two of these. I'll tell you something. I went to Safeway yesterday. I found a good deal. Eleven dollars for thirty-six can. But it's basically the same thing here. So since I buy mostly Sprite yesterday, I'm gonna get one of these. I mean, I'm gonna get one of these Sprite because I have too much of the Coke. At home still. Thirty-five cans. Okay, and I think we are good. So let's go check out. Alright guys, so we're actually back, but we are not home this time. We are actually at our school library. If you guys can't tell, we're in a school library. This is my first period class, and from the last week's talk, I finally got my video edited together. I had to borrow someone's phone, put it together with the iMovie and stuff like that. But anyways, we're supposed to be recording my podcast right now, and I did my podcast on just you be able to sell candy at school. So if you guys want me to upload that podcast, because it's from a project anyways at school, hopefully I get an A on it because it's like put a lot of effort into it. And it's like five minutes long, not too long. So I don't know if you guys want to listen to it. But it has some good points and something that maybe some people want to listen to. But anyway, let's get into my plan. So after this restock, $370. What I plan to do is, next restock, I'm not going to pay myself. I'm going to put all the money that we made, the profits, everything into a bigger restock, into a 600 something dollar restock. And then I'm going to take that one, put it into a $1,000 restock. So at the end of this year, hopefully around November or December, we can start doing $1,000 restocks every time. That way, I can go to Costco less frequently and be able to have more time to make money in between the periods without having to worry about running out. Because right now, when I restock about $300 of stuff, it takes like a week and a half or two weeks to sell out. But if I do it for 1000 then it, theoretically, it, it would take me every month to sell out, right? Kind of around that. Maybe a little bit more than a month, but we'll see how well it does. Maybe we won't do 1000 maybe we'll do 800 or we'll put 1000 for the thumbnail just to be clickbait. But I'm going to try to get a big restock, big receipt bring like a lot of money i'll show you guys me buying this stuff that's gonna be the best like lit vlog ever that i probably recorded so i hope you guys do enjoy this video please stay tuned for my plan and i'll see you guys in the next one wait there's more so actually in between all this of my big restock i have a new intern he's in he's a freshman right now he's replacing the old freshman that left because his parents didn't want him selling so he's been doing pretty well the first day he made 22 dollars and today's the second day it's a tuesday right now yesterday was his first day on monday so uh we'll see how well he does but if he does end up replacing the freshman then we can make about a hundred a day so if we do make a hundred a day and we have a thousand dollars of stuff then it would take like 20 days 20 days divided by four weeks is five days a week so we could sell a thousand dollars of stuff in one month and then we'll make like another thousand on top of that and that's a lot more pay so it's like getting a thousand profit in a month or getting like 250 300 profit every two weeks i think a thousand dollars is a lot better because we have more variety and we won't run out so people will always be buying from us all right peace out
you're still here. It's over. Go home. <laughs>